Morning everyone and welcome back to JB Outdoors. Today, uh, a little bit different than my normal cadence of videos. I do want to take my time and say thank you to everybody that followed me along the way. Uh, I know there was a about a two year or maybe even more than two year hiatus of mine um, just due to my own doing, making sure that I would uh, make it somewhere in life with my normal job uh, in the energy industry. So. Um, I did take a, take some time off of YouTube and focused on that for a while and realized I really missed doing this stuff and connecting with my viewers. Um, so today I just wanted to take some time and say thank you, maybe give you a little bit of a life update, um, and then reach out to a couple special people um, that have been some long-term followers of mine. So I do have some new interests, and uh, a lot of it revolves around uh, motorcycles and I grew up on motorcycles or dirt bikes in general and learned that um, you know there's a certain sense of freedom that you have on a motorcycle and then uh, I was introduced to moto camping and moto camping has been just an absolute whirlwind of uh, adventure for me and I've gotten to the point now where I'm, I'm a little, little well versed, a little bit more well versed around the camera and camera equipment. Um, there'd be times that I would film and just be absolutely sick to my stomach when I thought I captured something the way I envisioned and then uh, you know after all was said and done the trip was over everything was um, you know not not exactly captured correctly or the camera malfunctioned or whatnot so I worked hard for a couple years and then uh, slowly bought um, I have GoPro action cameras I now have two of them um, I've learned a little bit with lavalier microphones and that's really helped a lot. Um, a couple of my followers said my audio quality sucked and uh, at one of them was actually my uh, younger brother which reached out to me, sent me a uh, really nice set of lavalier microphones. So thank you for that. I do want to say a special thank you to Bushcraft with Ste Outdoors. Uh, he is one of my longtime uh, followers as well as uh, I, I find a lot of enjoyment in watching his channel so uh, he does a lot of the bushcraft stuff and that's actually who I am uh, outlining today on the channel so if you like any kind of bushcraft stuff he has very high quality uh, footage and definitely has a certain uh, level of poetry with editing uh, so I'd, I'd love to learn a little bit more on how to edit like this. Um, he definitely has very high quality footage, uh, like I said. So um, very, very cool to watch and uh, definitely a different kind of lifestyle than what I'm used to with, with my camping style. Um, I typically find uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the camping gear that is more based on comfort rather than a uh, minimalistic approach or, uh, uh, or bushcrafty style approach. So. Um, that's one guy I'd really like to outline, and uh, I'll be playing Bushcraft with Stee Outdoors. Um, on this setup, uh, I've been working on kind of a backdrop setup in my garage where you're at today. Uh, I spent a lot of time out here. I'll be, um, every, every once a week or so, I'll be outlining one channel that I really appreciate, especially as much as I talk to. Um, we'll be playing them. Uh, for at least 24 hours on, on the garage setup. So uh, it's really neat to be working out here and, and have something going in the background. So currently it's on mute, but uh, I'll turn the sound back on just in case that makes any kind of difference. My second follower that I would really like to outline today is uh, Raul Garcia Fishing and Outdoors. Um, I know Raul's watching this. Uh, he always watches uh, all my videos and always comments. And man, I cannot appreciate that enough. Um, but yeah, he does a lot of fishing uh, up in Canada, and that is an amazing place to to be able to fish. Uh, it's actually a bucket list of mine to be able to fish up there, and it's really neat to be able to connect with Raul and see him uh, and his kids uh, explore the outdoors in Canada. So. Even uh, ice fishing, obviously, is a big thing up there, so uh, it's really neat to see that. Where I'm at in Michigan, I don't really get ice, uh, especially the way that they do. So very cool to be a part of that and get to see Raul fish. Um, it's been really neat to see 
Raul's channel grow over the years. Um, I think we started right around the same time, and he's got, uh, up, I think, close to 6,000 subscribers now. So uh, he definitely has stuck with it through the time uh, where, obviously, I fell off for a while. So it's neat to see where he's at today. Um, obviously, it's been a grind to get there. So, man, I can't say thank you enough, um, even following my other channels. So I've got two tabs open currently, the two guys that I'm watching this week, Bushcrafty, uh, or Bushcraft with Stee Outdoors, and Raul Garcia Fishing and Outdoors. So I've got both of these guys playing. Uh, I'll be playing them for as long as this computer's running. So um, most likely it just stays on out here. So um, again, huge, a uh, huge uh, update for me is the moto camping, and uh, I'm uh, coming up on like three days away from going to Colorado for like 10 days. Um, I'm pretty intimidated by that, but I've also done some trips to Kentucky for about the same length of time. Uh, last, last two years in a row, we've, we're doing trips to Kentucky, so been really neat. Um, this is my current light bike setup. I've got a, a another one for a, a more of a heavier big bike stuff, so we'll talk about that one in another video, but um, yeah, this is what I've been focusing on today. Uh, aside from yesterday, I did a inflatable tent camping. Uh, you guys will see that video come out at some point, but I do want to talk about the normal cadence of videos that we have going, and uh, my wife and I tried to come at this with more of a realistic approach where before I was trying to do three videos a week while working uh, up to 70 hours a week and that was just that was tough so my focus was more to come up with a better uh, a better number which we've landed on one video a week but usually post at four o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday um, my goal with that was to hopefully let everybody unwind that ends up having to work on Monday that had the weekend off Maybe that's a way that they can unwind uh, and, you know, enjoy enjoy a video right before thinking about going back to work the next day. So um, that's a real problem for mine. I have a problem with anxiety um, and stuff like that definitely helps right before going back to work. So with that being said, let's focus on one video a week for now. Um, I'd like to do a video like this, which obviously takes a lot less effort on my end, but I want to connect with my viewers and uh, kind of give everyone an update. So again, I appreciate everyone that's, wa that's watched through the years and has stuck with my channel through the years as this is still a project that someday I hope to uh, be able to do full time. So I've got a ton of ideas. I'll wake up at three o'clock in the morning and uh, just lay wide awake with my mind racing. And I've got a notes section on my phone that's just full of different ideas that I want to do with the channel. And somehow today I'm, I'm able to do some of that at a time. So I just have to stick with the more realistic approach and let's hammer down. So again, I'm Justin with JB Outdoors. Always make sure to spend more time outdoors and I'll see you guys on the next video.